Welcome to the Snake Files, and happy Halloween. Indeed, Halloween is just a few days away. Well, thank you for joining me in uh, the Snake Files as well. It's pretty simple. We're going to scroll through Wild Snake's education and discussion. My education-based Wild Snake group on Facebook. Educating people on snakes since 2015. And we'll take a look at some of the posts, some of the snakes, and we'll start with... Wilhelm shared Laura Box photos of a Oaxacan dwarf boa. Now, I'll admit right off the bat, I don't know anything about this snake. Um, matter of fact, I, I don't even know if I've seen pictures of this snake. Looks like an interesting little snake. It's a steel gray color, no markings. And even the eye is a silver coloration. It looks like a little bead of mercury. So... Again, I don't know anything about this snake. Uh, Mexico is home to dozens and dozens and dozens of snake species. Oh, a lot of coral snakes, a lot of vipers, and a lot of small burrowing snakes that are uncommonly seen and not much is known about. So I'll have to do a little research on uh, this guy. Continuing on with this special Halloween edition Halloween weekend edition of the Snake Files. I got my royalty free Halloween music playing in the background. And continuing, Lamar posted this photo of an Eastern Garter snake, uh, I believe in New York. And uh, this garter snake is what some might call the checkered striped variety of Eastern Garter snake. The Eastern Garter snakes are one of the most variable species of snake in the United States. Some Eastern Garters actually Many have are. no stripes, and they're more checkered in appearance. And some are a combination of both, such as this one here. And these more tannish brown Eastern Garters with the checkerboard patterning are sometimes mistaken for a snakes in the snake. genus Steraria. You'll know... You'll notice that brown snakes have a smaller, rounder, shorter head as compared to an eastern garter snake. Simon posted these photos of a baby southern Pacific rattlesnake native to the west coast of the United States. Uh, and the nice close-up here, we can see... The superocular scale covering the eyes. Now the superocular scale on rattlesnakes, cottonmouths, and copperheads is usually pronounced and overhanging the eye. Some so rattlesnakes have a less pronounced superocular scale than others, but this is a nice example of that feature, which is just one of several features that we can use to identify a pit viper. In the United States now, some non-venomous snakes, such as racers and coach whips, they have a pronounced ridge over their eye, not quite as pronounced as on this juvenile rattlesnake, but they do have a ridge over the eye, because all snakes have this scale. It's just, in some snakes, it's small and less noticeable. Speaking of coach whips and racers, Jeremy posted a juvenile eastern coach whip from South Carolina. And the coach whip is a non-venomous snake. Coach whips are Speak. active daytime hunters using their sharp vision to chase down prey. Which can include anything from birds, frogs, lizards, small mammals, and other snakes. Kate posted this uh, nice adult eastern milk snake from New York. Uh, the eastern milk snake is a non-venomous snake in the genus Lampropeltis with king snakes. Unfortunately, these snakes are sometimes mistaken for a copperhead or rattlesnake. And, of course, like many snakes around the world, they have the habit of vibrating the tip of their tail and when they do that in dry leaves or dry grass, it can produce a rattling sound that startles people. 
and they're often killed in the false belief that they are venomous. Uh, of course, this is this tail shaking behavior is not mimicking a rattlesnake. It's simply a shared defensive behavior, and rattlesnakes just evolved it to the next level. It's been a warm few days here in the Northeast. So snakes are still out as long as weather permits, but they are now close to their den sites where eventually they will slip in for the rest of the year and emerge in spring when the length of the days change and stimulate their behavior to emerge from the den to begin another year of activity. Hey, thanks for watching The Snake Files. Please subscribe. I'll see you on Facebook, and I hope you learned something. Until next time, take care.